Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about how to make stamps in Procreate. So stamps, I have some of mine pulled up right here and they work just like a traditional stamp without having to uh, do the inking and all that stuff. So as you can see, these can just be stamped onto there and you can change the color and make it as pretty or detailed as you want. The only thing that you cannot do with your stamps, um, your stamps have to be in black and white when you go to make them. So as you can see, all of these are in black and white. That does not take color. And then it's basically the stamp itself. Then you can change the color once you have created that stamp. So you wanna keep that in mind. Um, just like the typewriter that we made the other day in the video, I can't take the colored version of that typewriter and turn it into a stamp. I could only do it in black and white. So that's something to keep in mind, but let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're gonna go ahead and make a heart, something simple, just so you can see in this tutorial what you wanna do. So you've got your design made, and then we want to hit, not gallery, I keep going to gallery. Um, we want to hit this little wrench up here, tap on the share, save it as a JPEG to yourself. And once you've got that saved, then we can go back to your little paintbrush here. And we're going to go into stamps and we're going to hit this little increase here. So what we want to do is we want to insert our photo that we just saved and we're going to invert the shape. So we're just going to click on that and we're going to, for here, for green source, what we want to do is we want to swap from the pro library. So this gives us all of the different, uh, things that are used to create the brushes, then stamps that are already in here. What I typically like to use, um, there's a couple of them that I kind of like to use. Blank is my favorite. I will occasionally use grunge or paper mush, these kind of things. And it just changes the texture of it. Um, so for an example, let's go ahead and just choose bark. And so then here is an example of what it will pop up. Now, obviously this isn't what we wanted. We want our stamp here. So what we'll do is we will go to stamp preview in general and size it. Ah, see, okay, here we go. We wanna go back to the source, invert shape. It didn't invert it. There we go. Now we have it in the black and white and then the heart, what's in white is actually gonna be the stamp. So here, that's our preview. Now, if you decide that you don't necessarily like the, um, the grain source that you've picked, you can always go back in and pick another one. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it to blank. There we go. And it shows up a lot fuller because the whole thing is completely dark. And then here, when you go to general, you can adjust your size limits all the way, max being really big, or you can take it down really small, however big you want it to typically be. I like to kind of size mine a little big so that when I go to stamp it, I can actually bring it down. And then you'll just click on brush name, type in the name for this one, and we are done. So then we have this heart stamp that you can adjust the size over here. You can change the color if you wish. We'll change it to this one. And that is how you make a stamp in Procreate. So go ahead, start creating cute little um, stamps that you want to make and get them in there and play around with it. Have some fun. 
These are great for those that like traditional mixed media work, but then want to take that concept over into Procreate, um, being able to add in some different backgrounds. And I can show you real quickly how I did that with one of my art pieces. It would be stored away in here. And let's see, ah, here it is. So I wanted to have that mixed media feel with this. And as you can tell, there's a love letter just kind of stamped in the back. Um, there's also, let's see if I still have it on here. Uh, oh, here we go. This is a good one. So I've stamped in my flowers. I've stamped in different uh, different textures in the background. I don't know if you can see those very well. So yeah, so you can do a lot of fun things with stamps. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you would like to see more. Have a great day.